My name is Sharia Sanya, and I'm going to talk to you about the future of the future, building the world bottoms up. Since the dawn of human evolution, a handful of discoveries have actually changed humanity. There was fire, there was electronics, there was tools, there was biotechnology. Big question, what is next? Since 1990s, when Sir Eric Drexler first coined the term nanotechnology, scientists and engineers are hoping to design the world at the nanoscale, 10,000 times smaller than the width of your human hair. We, for the last two decades, we have had a sneak peek into nanostructures, but we are not being able to design them. However, Fred has been quite useful to see at nanostructures using optical microscopy. Multiple Nobel Prizes have been awarded. The challenge today that I'm facing here is to design a nanostructure using nothing but computer simulation and human intelligence for the first time at the heart of Ireland. Now, many people will ask, what is FRET? Now, FRET is a very curious phenomenon. When two uh, nanoparticles or chromophores of, of interest are sufficiently close by, they give up an optical signal. Now, microscopists can see this with their microscope, and so they tagged up with biologists have been, and have been looking at all these biochemical pathways to understand these mechanisms, as you can see over there. However, if you want to look at more and more biochemical pathways, you need optical FRET signal. For that, you have to increase the signal to noise. But the current experimental techniques use uh, experimentally identified linkers. As a part of my thesis, I have simulated using molecular dynamics and Monte Carlo to quantum ca chemical calculation, this nano hinge made of biological potent material. And as a result, for the first time, where it's a human designed system, we can peek into biosystems never yet seen before. This has many implications. One of the most obvious ones, as you have, most of you have already guessed, is to use this kind of biosensors to look into FRET pathways and more and more biochemical pathways to understand disease mechanisms from cancer and AIDS to whatnot. The other implication is personalized medicine. Instead of having one medicine for everybody, how about having many medicines for one? This is, a, this is, this is actually a small stepping stone towards nano designing, but a huge leap of mankind towards designing the world at a nanostructure. What we have been hoping for is to create for the first time a methodology to design the world truly at the nanoscale. Welcome to the future. Thank you.